And, and you know, as you discussed uh, and, you know, articulated the value, and I think to your point, it's, it's correct, right? The whole BI and data visualization is important because, you know, nobody really likes to look at a bunch of data. With that, you're able to paint that you know, true picture on what's the value, why, right? Whether companies, you know, sales are trending low or are they trending higher and why are they trending higher, right? right? Can you talk about, you know, what are some of the biggest challenges for organizations that are trying to incorporate, you know, business intelligence, the data visualization um, nowadays? Sure, I mean, I think uh, nowadays is a key word in that question because the, the way that tools are, 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 you know, evolving and have evolved really over the last, you know, several years, if we look at kind of the old school BI where we kind of had a much more uh, structured, you know, one single EDW perhaps and, and you know, kind of a more, uh, uh, you know, traditional uh, uh, solution structure now with all of the different ways uh, and all of the different uh, uh, you know, types of data, um, it's a little bit more uh, fluid, right? So when we talk about, you know, obviously social media data, unstructured data, uh, you know, Internet of Things, all of those, all of those different types of data. And so, you know, for me, I think a challenge uh, that I see organizations having is how do you then still manage all of those different uh, data sources and still, you know, sort of manage to what we like to call the single version of the truth, right, which is kind of an underlying uh, a term that we use in, in analytic solutions, but it's challenging because, of course, you 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 want to you know you have to use that data, right? I mean, it's 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 very important to you know your decision making, but how you sort of structure and relate that data to have one cohesive you know sort of story being told in one cohesive message, uh, you know, represented by that data, it, you know, I think can be can be very challenging. Uh, so you know, in terms of you know, guiding organizations through that, I think, uh, you know, it's important to look at sort of the maturity scale, right? So kind of how, how ready are they? Are they at a, at a more of a, of a beginner type, you know, type state uh, in terms of, you know, adopting and implementing BI solutions, or are they, you know, much more advanced uh, and, and, you know, kind of have the structures and the processes necessary uh, to support a lot more complex integration uh, and so on. So, you know, so I, I mean, it's really kind of, uh, you know, on a case by case basis, Cases, um, you know how you would address those solutions, but for me, uh, that that concept is very critical right now. Is how do you sort of wrangle all the different potential, uh, uh, you know, places uh, and and formats that data can come uh, in and from? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And you know, based on your experience, because you've worked with so many different types of uh, customers in different industries. What would you say uh, are, are more customers still uh, not as mature, immature, or, or is it 50 50? Like, wh where do you see it went uh, based on, you know, your experience in most organizations? You know, I think in terms of what we call kind of the modern uh, data architecture, right, when we talk about, you know, okay. cloud based solutions and, and, and things like that. Um, I, I, you know, of course, a lot of a lot of uh, organizations, I think, are still uh, on the lower end of that maturity scale, mm -hmm. because I think that those are those are platforms and 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 you know tools and 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 even concepts that are even now still evolving very rapidly, right? So so it's it's sort of difficult a lot of times to change the mindset. Uh, and then you talk about, for example, there's still concerns about certain organization types putting their data out on the cloud for security reasons and things like that. So so I do think that you know there there's a cautious optimism uh, with a lot of organizations in terms of adopting, uh, you know, kind of these modern um, uh, platforms and architectures. But really, uh, you know, a lot of it still comes down to mindset, uh, to doing things the way that, that they're used to being done, to looking at data in the same ways that it's been looked at. And so a lot of it is really just kind of that, that uh, you know, realization of value. So, you know, conveying to, to organizations or to clients, hey, this is why, you know, this is what we're going to gain by, by adopting you know these new platforms and methods and processes um, and obviously you know having that that sponsorship and having that that you know uh, appropriate sort of level of, of, of commitment um, you know it, it makes a big difference yeah and, and that's awesome to your point that commitment organizations have to make that commitment if, especially if they're trying to be uh, data driven yeah I, I totally agree with you